Hey everybody, Ernie Hatmaker here. It's been a couple of weeks since the last um, garden tour and I just want to show you what's been going on. Um, I usually post, um, you know, things here and there on my blog, but I had a comment the other day going like, hey, what's going on? I haven't seen you in a while. And um, I'll start putting a few more things on the blog, but for the most part, I mean, it's just kind of taking up space. Anyway, here's the garden. Let's start off with this columbine here. Um, every time one of the flowers dies off, another one opens up shortly after. So you see this one um, blooms. They only bloom for a couple of days here. I don't know if it's the heat or if they're supposed to. This is the first time I've actually gotten them to bloom. So <laughs> this is kind of new to me. This sunflower here is leaning. Um, that one I've had to tape up to a stake and I will tape tie up to a stake. Uh, somebody told me I like tying things up. Uh, Tony Walsh. He might be right. Um, but I'm going to have to tie this thing to something because look how it's leaning. That's just not straight. And so when it gets big and heavy, if I don't stop it, it's going to end up on this trellis. And I cannot have that. So I was telling you guys how um, this pepper here it's just not acting right um, and I think maybe that one day that um, I didn't water it very well that pepper um, just kind of went into uh, plant cell mode where all the plant cells burst when I finally did water it and so now it just cannot get enough water so I'm just going to pull it and replant the other poblanos I have on the porch but that's the most noticeable thing when you first uh, walk out to the garden it's the fact that that sunflower is just kind of leaning like that but anyway um, I've got other sunflowers here that are uh, starting to cast shade when they're supposed to Look at these cubanelles. I wish they would grow peppers off the ground. I told Ed that I'm just going to trim this thing up kind of like a tree so that I have more, uh, um, I don't know, more, what am I trying to say? I, I need more of the, more of the pepper off the ground. Greens. Uh, the greens were here last year, these mustard greens, and I had some Georgia collards that we're basically underneath where this bed is now. If you look over here, I have not watered certain kale because I'm actually pulling these out. Um, what's left of them, I've pulled out pretty much uh, three or four of them already. And I'm going to pull the rest of these out. And I'm focusing more on this aramid here that's starting to come up. These beef masters. That guy blowing is um wanting to help hook up my uh electric um stuff he's wanting to uh wire us up so that we can keep our solar panels and things like that um uh consistently wired in that tomato is going to be a cat head if the worms don't get into it hopefully they don't these beef master tomatoes um this one's finally starting to catch up with this one although got to tell you this one's gotten a jump on it probably because it's stealing fertilizer from here we're doing a ton of heavy nitrogen um we, we are also you know dropping regular fertilizer in but yeah we're doing heavy on the nitrogen because um i'm thinking that the mulch that we dropped stole a lot of the nitrogen from from our soil um, plus the weeds are stealing from our plants, which, you know, I, I can do so much, you know, before I have to stop. Um, it gets too hot out here to stay all day long pulling weeds. Um, somebody's been enjoying a little snack there. I'm getting a lot of good cucumber flowers. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have to hand pollinate or not. Um, I've had to do it several times with my squash. Um, I'm looking just kind of 
to see how many weeds we have under here. The one thing that I cannot have as a weed is bindweed. Now, I've had to pull these cucumbers off of the tomatoes a few times, and that's kind of gotten on my nerves. Something else I've had to, to keep on the fence. I would absolutely love to see the gourd go up this fence here, but this little fence won't hold, even with all these stakes. This fence will not hold um, heavy bottle gourds, not too long. The, the entire plant is pretty heavy. Um, the greens have grown over the pallet. Um, my two cabbages that have made it, they're like, we don't really want to be here. They are very slow at forming the heads. Um, I don't even know if they're going to form cabbage heads. But they're not collards. They're actually cabbage. You can see I've got collards mixed in with all of that. But I'm not really that picky on, on how my greens are as long as they taste good when I cook them. Look at that. There's a cucumber trying to come out to my collards. There's a few weeds, like this ragweed, that I'm just like, ugh. I need to pull them before they flower and pollinate and or send seeds what am i saying pollinate before they send seeds into my peas i don't know what this bush shrub thing is but it's annoying and there's there's a bunch of them um i'm not sure if the mowers got my little uh, gourd that was here it's no longer here um this sunflower is doing good though it's still protecting everything in the pallets that sunflower is now taller than me which it wasn't the last time you saw it look at all that lettuce look at all that lettuce i had some this morning um i think you guys saw my harvest video where i had a bunch of radishes and some lettuce So you'll see this in um, a few days after that, but yeah, I left a little bit of a hole in there. <laughs> um, this lettuce is really good. It smells like lettuce. <laughs> uh, Ed doesn't like it. He says it smells like dirt, but yeah, I like it. These I need to hurry up and pull. I see that some of them are starting to get little, uh, a little tight right there where they're wanting to produce a flower stalk. That's not for me. Oh, I want that to open up so bad. Open! You can see my cabbages over there. Um, this is like the second half of the pallets uh, that come out in rows. Um, I've got flowers mixed in with food, like uh, beans and uh, my nasturtiums over there in those little clumps. Um, the African daisies are starting to... Um, kind of you know go away and they're being replaced by the newer um, blossoms I've got uh, a lot of chard um, that sunflower there he's just like Ugh, do something with me um, some of my uh, peas and things like that are coming up this everleaf tower basil still has not come up in these pallets and it's had plenty of water I don't know if they're like the other things that I've planted and are just like, you know, they don't um, have the, the proper cold and they might pop up next year because seed companies are starting to kind of cheat us. If you haven't noticed, um, it takes a lot more effort to get some of these seeds to come up. Anyway, there's a regular sweet Italian basil. Um, I've got spinach planted in these things and I haven't seen it pop up. Hopefully the beetles haven't eaten my seeds. The, this is the Carolina Reaper. It's finally got flowers. Uh, more than one flower. I think last time you saw maybe one flower on it. Those are going to be pretty. Um, look at that. I don't remember what kind of um, plants some of these are. Um, my nasturtium haven't come up.
those nasturtium have come up. I can't remember what kind they are right now. But um, they're not big. They're big enough if you want to make some kind of like a salve or something like that. But if you want to like eat them as chips, they're way too small. They'll shrink up pretty bad. Um, there's lettuce, or not lettuce, uh, cabbage. Um, oh, look at that. That is pretty in the middle. I wish I knew what it was because <laughs> some of this stuff got planted last year and didn't come up and then it came up after the winter. I don't know what kind of flower that is either. But it sure is pretty. Look at that celosia. Some of these flowers are a little irritating because they wouldn't come up when I wanted them to. Now these are dwarf corn flowers. They were planted uh, from seed. These are the babies that I planted from seed after this one was planted just to make sure that they were going to come up. So I didn't want to plant all my seeds just for them not to. There's that tomato. It's got the flowers and we'll soon see what kind it is. It's probably a, um, an Arkansas traveler since it's so close. But it's also close to where the brandy wines were last year. So anybody's guess. But check this out at the butternut. You guys see that down there? He's pretty. Um, right now, I don't have any more uh, uh, female flowers yet, well, that are open. Um, I've got a bunch of babies that look like they're going to do okay out here so far. You know how things can change. Look at this Arkansas Traveler. These guys are really starting to put off little baby tomatoes all over this trellis here all over the trellis look at that I'm gonna have to start watering them more which I don't water them very often um, because they seem to be doing okay pulling water from the ground It looks like the snails are again taking little bites out of my beans as the beans are starting to climb up. These in the bucket are starting to hit the trellis now, so that's good. Um, I've left these rods on the trellis in case we end up putting um, shade cloth back up here. Um, so far, nothing's really needed it. Um, tons of beans, different types of beans, and they're just kind of here. Um, I've got some more of these little yellow uh, tomatoes, which you guys saw a couple in my um, harvest video. This jalapeno is really loving it here. Um, I've still got radishes to harvest, as you can see, but I'm not... Um, gonna eat them all so I try my best to leave them in the dirt some of them I'm, I'm going to leave because you know I need the seeds but anyway um, my Thai purple pod of uh, beans are coming up and this crazy gourmet slicer tomato mixed with beans that's the one that you saw the uh, where in my uh, BT video where the uh, baby hornworms are like all over the leaves, but they're dead. You can tell they've been chewing on the leaves, but they're dead. Now out here in a pallet, um, I've just planted one side. Um, and I've got the, uh, I think it's a gold straight, uh, straight neck uh, squash. Or yellow or whatever you want to call it. This golden tomato plant has a... Uh, Look at that. Some really good sized tomatoes on it. Those are just kind of hanging off, which I don't really like, but I don't want to grow just leaves. So I'm glad that, you know, I can at least see some of the fruit of my labor. This sweet banana pepper, um, I harvested a bunch of these today and I left a few to see if they can get a little bigger. Look at that zucchini straight neck gold zucchini uh, the flowers haven't opened yet hopefully the zucchini on it don't die there's another one 
red russian kale that one's pretty big but the leaves aren't big enough for me to do anything with um i've got some um this is a marglobe tomato in there along with these crowder cowpeas and then i've got more uh, zucchini plants you guys know peppermint forest peppermint forest actually is looking pretty good uh, it's leaving my time alone if you can see the time over here time is loving being left alone <laughs> with my help of course there's another uh, squash i've kind of placed there i noticed with this squash it's hiding uh from uh predators pretty well it's hiding um it's probably the peppermint smell that's kind of throwing them off and there's a sunflower that'll be casting shade soon um and i found out these are my daylilies i had to go way back into my video history and look to see what i planted um because there's an nasturtium over there oh they are so pretty i want the leaves to get a little bigger um what kind of pepper is this i i've got it uh it's a five color hot pepper yeah this is a five color hot pepper mixed in with the ruby red chard and uh what the heck is that bug and then I've got a tomato and a cayenne in here. And look at all that comfrey. There's probably four or five bumblebees that are hanging out in the comfrey and the catnip over there. They're loving it. It smells very heavily like peppermint over here. Very heavily. Now this is all weeds. Uh, there might be a zinnia or two like that one in here. And then of course I've got some zucchini who's just loving it out here. There's um, a throwaway Russian kale. <laughs> it's just throwaway. Hopefully it's going to attract something. Something, you know, away from my zucchini back over here to the compost you can see one of those weird thorny things is growing along with a little bit of grass now i can heat this area up um and we could probably weed eat to get rid of the grass i'm gonna have to pull weeds and i'm not looking forward to doing that it's gonna have to be a cool day to do it um this sunflower received some fish fertilizer this morning look at what's opened up what used to be one single stem that beautiful zinnia and it's got all those little shoots offshoots on it this was all from one stem so this um, I don't know if it was too late but I took a male flower from another plant there's the discards from that over over there and I pollinated that one myself. Hey, whoever you are. This sunflower, hopefully, um, is going to get taller than this zucchini and cast shade all the way back here during the day, including on this pepper here. That's um, my goal for most of these sunflowers that are just kind of sporadically placed. Um, these, uh, I um, want it to... Um, have for the evening so they will cast shade on this cantaloupe here my aromas um just about all the plants now even the ones that were planted later um these were planted um three weeks later than these here but they all have tomatoes on them every one of them up here especially the older ones they have tomatoes on them now i still have to water in fact i probably have to water a whole lot more just because they all have tomatoes on them the garden from the back looks a whole lot better <laughs> than the garden from the front this sunflower probably needs more fertilizer so that it can 
grow taller than the zucchini it's still just kind of there right now um these zucchini and uh um i might have one yellow squash out here but the rest of them are all zucchini squash um they're liking it out here especially now that the stink bugs have found somewhere else to be these volunteer sunflowers are doing whatever it is that they do um that one's got multiple heads on it now this purple gusto pepper is doing okay the carrots need watering um i have not watered yet because i wanted to do this before the sun got too hot and my camera complains <laughs> so this tomato is just like the other one it's very weird and the leaves are i just don't understand it um i think i've told you guys before it's got tons of flowers and it looks like it's doing okay except for the leaves look like on any other tomato the leaves would be like it's too much water or not enough or but look that nasturtium is doing just fine in there so it's not too much water And I just pull weeds all day long around this thing and they just keep coming back. So anyway, hopefully this sunflower gets as big as this sunflower. You see that ladybug? I've got, I've got all kinds of little helpers out here. Speaking of helpers, that wolf spider, um, I, I don't see it today. There's a few holes in the in the web i'm hoping nothing's kidnapped him spider napped him but the carnations he's been protecting have opened these are carnations there's a couple in there you can see the pink coloration i would get closer but i don't know where that spider is and he's pretty big <laughs> okay look at these guys This is the German Queen, and they are already kind of uh, looking like cat faces. Hopefully they don't get um, split. Sunflower Row. These now are um, about four feet tall. And I have a feeling that in about a week, they'll be a lot taller. These sunflowers complete sunflower row i had to pull one uh, if you can see that empty hole there in the middle it just did not want to work with the neglect that i give <laughs> i freely give neglect um but the rest of these are starting to grow i don't know what's going to happen once uh, something smells the fish fertilizer because the last time they tried to dig up my stuff so the strawberries oh lord look at all those beetles those are dung beetles in here anyway I've got I've got some uh, good sized strawberries in there uh, something else has been already biting into them um, I didn't plant them um, so I guess I'm just gonna let whatever wanted them have them because these things are gonna get moved anyway so this is the front of Sunflower Row, or should I say the, the other side. And hopefully uh, I'll be seeing stems more than I'm seeing leaves. These beans are so-so. Those sunflowers right there are so-so. They would probably be better if I did something nice for them. Uh, cantaloupe. AJ's Green Topics had given me um, Sugar Baby Watermelon, and that's them. Russian Kale and Okra. A handful of this Okra came up on its own, and the rest I planted this year. Look at that one growing between the slats. You know I didn't plant that. Look at that one. There's no dirt there. Where's he coming from? 
So, yeah, the, these are at various stages of growth also. This is sweet mint in these palettes. Um, and then there's lemon thyme over there. And then I've got some mullein. This mullein's about to form a head. Um, and then azaleas. If you can see that, these zucchini here um, that I planted in the holes are doing okay. And then these tomatoes need watering. And I'll, I'll tell you they're doing okay. They'll probably tell you I'm lying. <laughs> Um, and then there's more of the same type of uh, golden peach tomato that I got from uh, from UT33200. And uh, some random sunflowers, more tomatoes. And then this sunflower is starting to, uh, it's already taller than me. It's taller than me. It's supposed to be about 18 feet if it's the one I think it is. But, you know, if you remember, the wind blew so hard that things got a little mixed up. So I have no idea what kind of sunflower this is. All right, these are not strawberries. This is a red bell pepper that is green right now. Um, Cherokee purple tomato, which is growing flowers. It has taken forever for this thing to grow. Um, and then over here is the Pilser Vesey tomato. It's a juicing type. And it's finally uh, got um, an actual tomato on it. Um, it had another one, but it looked like something had been chewing on it, so I threw it away. Nothing in this bed, although I am going to take some advice from people and dump some compost in it and plant from there. Um, these sunflowers are finally growing over the bed. Same with this zucchini. And these sunflowers are about to open up. I hope they get a little taller. I think they're the teddy bear dwarfs or something. Look at my barley. <laughs> I've got like three things, three little strands of barley in there out of all the barley I planted. Now, these sunflowers in this box, they're going to get a lot bigger. They're going to get a lot bigger. Um, I've got three in this box along with some cow peas. They're crowder peas also. Definitely um, need to water them again today. <laughs> 